Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what's going on? Table Sean, back at it with some Destiny. Uh, so we kind of wanted to make a uh, Year 2 Iron Banner. I guess kind of the good, bad, and the ugly, but I don't know. I'm not witty enough to actually categorize it like that. But just kind of want to talk about things that work, things that didn't work, things I like, things I uh, didn't like. Did I just say the same thing twice? I don't know. I never script videos. But more importantly, hear from you guys. What did you guys like about it? What did you didn't like? What would you like to see change? And so forth. So let's just jump into it. We'll make it a quick video. First off, I loved the the new bounty system. Uh, I felt it felt really fast in terms of ranking up to level five on all three characters. Like it, I feel like I played less Iron Banner and still made it to rank five on all three characters with no problem. I love the daily bounties. I like the weekly bounties, but uh, I learned. Well, I was about to say early on. Learned later on. Um, when you do those weekly bounties, because I knocked out a few of those really quickly uh, within like the first two days, wait until like Friday or Saturday to cash those things in, because with the tempered buff, they're worth way more XP. And actually, on my Titan, he was the last one to go to rank 5. I have like, the two weeklies are half completed. I wonder, I'm just going to leave them in my uh, inventory and just wait until the next time banner. Maybe they'll change them a little bit and those things will still be, I don't know. If it's the same one, then you know what? I got a head start on those weekly bounties. And a little pro tip, guys, if you go into Iron Banner uh, and you haven't gotten the class item, the new one that obviously has the higher defense, uh, right before a game ends, if you know you're going to win it, switch to your old one if you still have it, and you still get the bonuses if you have your emblem, shader, and class item on, uh, but don't use it while you're playing because then it drops your light down a lot. Now, for the uh, inventory that Salad had had, Garden Saladin, um, I love the Pulse Rifle, you guys know that. Uh, the Sidearm, I got a good drop version of it, but I, I just, I don't like Sidearms, I never use it. The Boots, I thought were terrible. I mean, you're gonna get 280 Boots that have okay perks on it, and then have to uh, infuse things into it, I kind of thought that was a waste of time. Uh, but then it would make sense, because when Trials comes, uh, hopefully the Trials gear, for you guys, I, I don't really play Trials because I'm terrible at 3s, but you guys can, uh, they better make the Trials gear 300 or 310 or above. But as for the drops, I felt like nothing dropped. I barely saw anything drop. I mean, yes, I did get lucky with, I got a pulse rifle drop, I got the sidearm drop, I uh, didn't get any of the class items dropped, and yeah, that was it. And even in all the games I played, I really didn't see much drop for anyone. Which was a little bit of a shocker, because didn't Bungie say prior to that, uh, your main source of getting gear was going to be playing Iron Banner? Oh, it, it really didn't feel like that at all. I was kind of hoping that uh, they would implement like a package system where every time you hit a new rank you'd get a little package and no, I don't mean gear or anything like that because that would be totally overkill, but I don't know, just like a nice package with some glimmer, coins, modes of light, you know, regular consumables, things you need. Alright, now let's talk about matchmaking, okay, because this is where I really want to hear from you guys. Now, you know me, I played solo the whole time, I enjoyed it, I really did not have any laggy lobbies, uh, you guys that party up in full parties, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Did you guys experience lag? Um, I felt like I wasn't losing a lot of games. Uh, I noticed the previous Iron Banners, especially the one before Taken King came out, I mean, I was stacking five medallions each time because I just could not win freaking games and was going up uh, against parties a lot. I felt like this time around, I, it, b being solo, I didn't go up against parties very often unless it was late at night. That's something I noticed. Between the 3 a.m. and maybe 4 a.m. spot around in, uh, on the East Coast, that's when I would run into full parties a lot. Then lastly, which was pretty bad, was obviously the uh, Shadow Shot Glitchers and Sunbreakers. Now, um, the Sunbreakers weren't that annoying to me because as soon as I would hear it, I would just get the fuck out of Dodge, okay? Especially if I was on my Void... So I played Voidwalker and I didn't always play as Nightstalker. I played Blade Dance a lot. Anything with... Bl I love blinking, okay? I just blinked the hell out of there and got out of their way as soon as I would hear it. But when I went on my Titan Sunbreaker and just I just start clubbing people over the head like baby seals, you know me. Um, it was fun, but I definitely think their just health is just way too much. So that's it, guys. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let me know in the comment section what would you like to see in the next time, Baron? What did you like? What didn't you like? And that's it. So Babylon Mode's engaged. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaJohn. Check out my stream. All links will be in the description. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir. As that guy just swarded me to death. I don't know. Do you guys like the sword in PvP? I never use it. I always use my rune wake. Alright, babble mode. Bye guys.